everyone welcome back to youtube channel so in this informative video we will delve into the common issue many users have faced when rg vision 2.0 not detected in ram so we will provide you step by step instruction on how to fix it so we understand the frustration that arises when you rgb lighting system fails to recognize your ram models and then what why we have created this comprehensive guide by following as troubleshooting tips and technique you will be able to resolve the problem and get your rg fusion 2.0 up and running smoothly again so don't let a lack of ram detection dampen your gaming or pc customization experience so watch this video now and learn how to fix rg fusion 2.0 not detecting ram so let's start as the first solution we have to do first we have to the uninstall and restore your fusion 2.0 so one possible solution is suggested by users have been uninstallation and reinstallation of your RG Fusion 2.2 after removing all other RGV software. So first you have to open your device manager and then uninstall RG Fusion 2.2 simply. Then you have to restart your computer. Then download the latest version of your RG Fusion 2.2 from the Gigabyte website. Then after installing RG Fusion 2.2 and your restart your computer. Check if RG 2.2 is detecting the RAM is not or detect so we are going to search it too after not fixing this solution first your problem so delete certain files and install the trend jet lighting controller some users have reported that detecting or deleting certain files like a spadum and speed dump and installing the 3d jet lighting control app can help resolve this issue so first you have to open a file explorer then you have to navigate to this folder so called C Windows System 32 folder then read the spider and SPD dump files and then download and install the Trident Jet Lighting Controller so from a G skill website so you have to note this website name and then open the Trident Jet Lighting Controller and then check you have to if it's detecting the RAM not or detect so here are the solution term if this first or second solution not work clear cmos so turn off your computer first and then plug into the power sources then open your computer case and locate the cms battery remove the battery by gently pushing down and the retaining clip and pulling in out of the socket and wait for the 10 to 15 minutes to ensure that all the data is stored in the chip is clear reinsert the battery back into the socket make sure that is inserted correctly and now to close your computer case and plug in the power source Turn on the computer and enter your BIOS setup utility by pressing the designated key during setup. And then once the BIOS setup utility, you can configure the system hardware setting to you prefer configuration. So now we are going to search for update all your drivers. So there are also another method to compass this problem, update all your drivers. Because sometimes outdated driver can cause the problem. So you have to open your device manager like I am doing. Simply you have to press window plus x and then device manager and now there you can see all of the drivers so i'm showing you how you can do and then you have to update all of this driver so simply i'm expand this and then i'm going to navigate and then right click on it there the option of update driver and then search automatically so that's how you can update your driver and then you have to do step by step all of this driver to update this and you have to go into user third party software and solution 5 if we, after updating a driver not resolve the problem so you have to use a third party software like open rgv and which can detect control rgv lighting on various components including ram so first you have to download and install open rgv from the open rgv github web page then open rgv and check if it's detecting the ram if open rgv detecting the ram so you can use it to control the rgv lighting so these are simple solutions you have to take when you tackle the problem of your RGV 2.0 face create some problems. So thank you for watching the video. I hope you like it and we will catch you in the next video.